the act. Sponsored by Rollback. Q-zips. Polos, hoodies, joggers. All the good comfortable stuff. Shorts. Fleeces. Fleeces. They got some vests. They got all kind of good stuff. Promo code YAK. Robo, rope, hmm. Roback. Roback.com. Use code YAK. Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off all performance hoodies, crewnecks, joggers, and more with code YAK. All right. Titus. Titus was here, but he was reading us a children's book, and some dude came in and just whispered in his ear, and he had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Titus is out sick. How sick is he to miss dressing up? He, I know the costume that he bought. No. I know how much money he put into no. it. I know what it was going to be. Fuck. And it was going to be pretty good. I, I was wondering. I'm sick, too. Yeah. Okay, so I was. Nick walks in and says... I think I'm getting sick. You are sick. Yeah, but me and Titus have similar biological makeups. I <laughs> <laughs> College athletes. Yeah. Did, was it a specific president? I, I, he might make it up tomorrow, so I don't. Okay, I yeah, don't, don't say anything then. I can show you guys, but um, I also don't think you should make it up. I don't tomorrow. think you should make yeah. it up tomorrow. It's just That'd next be year. Or if like, does that president have a birthday? Is it? Can there be another use for this? Was there this could be president assassinated on there, a certain there, day. There could be. I'll find I'll find it for you boys and I'll I'll show it to you boys. But um so he texted us last night. Actually he texted Saturday and said, I this weekend sucks, I'm sick. Hopefully by Monday I'm okay. He texted us last night, says I'm I'm fifty percent, I'll I'll see you in the morning and he just was too sick. You are sick, you're getting sick, so this it's a sick show right now. I wish we had today off. It would be nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. Would have been sweet. Fuck. You okay? I'm not sick. I'm like always a little bit sick, but I'm not bad why enough you, to stay home. Why are you sitting like that? I don't know. It's it, it's that's feminine. It he's is never, very. He's never sat like it, that. It's G inspired, and I yeah that yeah look at that. Just kind of standing up right now. Put a, your feet. Put your soles down. Yeah. You want no? Them, you want them down? Soles up. You, you can go soles up. You want soul up or soul down? Put them down. Okay. Thank Whatever you. you say. Thank you. Right. Now you just look like everybody else. Yeah, I don't like it. Your light is shining a little less brightly than it was seconds ago. Oh, it's this fucking white sweatshirt. It's making me glow out here. Well, you put it on. I did. Yeah, and chose that. And you always wear a red up. hat, which is... <laughs> yeah. Why you always hook? wear a green hat, I mean, which is just vibrates against your scalp. <laughs> it's the only hat I can wear. Why? No, you could do a gray one or a black one. Oh, you're right. Yeah, what? Did you borrow that hoodie from Mint? No, this hoodie was lying around the office, and I oh. said, that's mine now. You want to talk about him? No, uh, although he is hovering already. He's yeah. he. Uh, there's no reason he's here at all. He, other said, he said he was available, which is good. <laughs> yeah, he texted me. He said, I'm here for the yak. Yeah, he texted me this morning and said, I, I will be available for the yak. I'm like, all right, man, good to know. Right. So he, he had a video go. You know, he, he did a mince thing this weekend, so he, he knows to be in range of the yak at all times when, when something like that happens. Um. But whatever, we can get to him later. How many people do you think touched his cock? <laughs> dude, he got 100 physicals, 100 mammograms. <laughs> <laughs> dude, 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 no one does that prone position. <laughs> Face down. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Uh, he wanted to cop a feel. <laughs> oh, my God. And already. Dick down. Dick down. His is dick is out. Crazy. <laughs> oh, getting copped. His dick is out. Oh, yeah. you. I mean, perfect prediction on the pants. Wait, th that was the easiest prediction of all time. Yeah, it was. <laughs> the f can flip. we go back to the flip there? Was the and the vape. And the hit of the vape. Look at, look at, oh, look at him grasping that. The he hit a vape right there. Yeah. Oh. The flip is just... And he takes... Did he take the vape with him? Yeah. This dude's head was definitely poking in the chute for that, <laughs> for that shit. Yes. That's an addiction that I can't comprehend. <laughs> oh, and he... The flip was just a drop that they recovered. They dropped him. And we're able to save him from yeah. one. <laughs> His cock is hitting the hands like the <laughs> stopper of the Wheel of Fortune wheel. Holy shit. <laughs> I guess, shit, we can start with him if he's here. Uh, I don't know where he is. That. I think he's in the gambling cave. Hey, Mitz! Dude, I would never want that many people touching me at one time. Face down's crazy. Insane. A face down stage dive's nuts. Uh -huh. um, but also, was a... it wasn't a stage dive. Like... 
you, if you were to dive into a pool, yeah. that's not it. That was, no, that was like was a, a belly flop. flop. He was boogie boarding in a lake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's no momentum. Yeah. <laughs> he was also very, very nervous for it. He yes. was really very scared of it because they said he was going to do it. It wasn't exactly spontaneous. He said on Wednesday, I'm going to do that this weekend. And uh, he did it. He did it. And uh, his pants, he, I'm a fat guy. He's less fat than me now. But belts are essential for guys like us. I don't know where his belt is. His belts never work. He has no ad. I don't get how it do- the belts don't work. I think it's because he's not a solid. <laughs> yeah. A shapeshifter? Yeah. Or just I, th- a- I think Ben mints his plasma. <laughs> <laughs> he might be. And that's the scariest part. <laughs> he might be. He's got no bones. I think he might be I plasma. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm texting him. Just go ahead and let's just rip off the band aid and do it now. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. So Big Cat will be back tomorrow, right? Is that right? I believe. I believe. Is, is he is. traveling back tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I question. think he'll be back tomorrow. I think he's back tomorrow. Uh, I think Titus will hopefully be back tomorrow. Maybe we'll have a full crew tomorrow. I don't know. And Kate. Oh Kate yeah, yeah. he's back. Kate. Kate as well. Yeah. So we'll uh, this be our first first seven crew. Did we ever have seven? I don't know. I guess maybe we did before Kate went off for maternity Yeah, New York for seven. Yeah, but I mean out here, th- oh. this this particular seven. How soon until Kate gets fucking pregnant again? <laughs> oh, my. How funny would it Could be? be <laughs> <sad>. <laughs> she, she acts like she's not a working human anymore. Uh-huh. Like her, her body doesn't function the way it used to. Her back doesn't work. Uh, she acts like she's just she's just a lump. Did you see the Beeves socks? I did. <laughs> no. No. I used, that, is that? I I mean I. Those aren't socks. They're not socks anymore. No, they have. They don't even have sock integrity. Here we go. Yep. Oh, checking. Oh, he's <laughs> a little too. No. Oh, went ahead and checked the cock early. Nancy. He woke up ready for this. Yeah. He might have crowd surfed this morning. Come sit down. Pick any seat you'd like. What's up, big dog? How we doing? Hey, hey Ben. Good. Good. How are How's you? the weekend? Oop. <laughs> a little tipsy. Mhm. Yeah. All right. Mhm. Hey Ben, what's up, fellas? How we doing? Good. Uh, you crowd surfed this weekend. I did. Um, we. I guess one question. You went dick down. <laughs> Probably your dick had to have been out, <sighs> unless your dick starts at your knee. <laughs> so, like all things, my defense here is just I had no idea what I was doing, and y'all all know that's true. But you knew Wednesday you were crowd surfing. You didn't think once to to Either. watch some game tape. He didn't check the tape. <laughs> no, no tape checked. None. None. I just thought you didn't ask anybody. No. You just said I'm going to dive head first into these people. I was just. I honestly had no plan to dive head or back first. It just in the moment I just jumped. Did Mm-mm. did hand ever <laughs> touch your? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did hand ever touch your penis or balls? I honestly, it was like such a rush that it was like I kind of felt like I was like floating. Yeah, it's like wrestling well, in the were singlet. floating, yes. Yeah, but I mean, it was just kind of like all like a blur. Like, it was so crazy. But it was awesome. Oh, you know, yeah. You know, and I didn't feel like I got fondled too bad. So, mm. but it was, I don't know, it was, it was very, uh, he asked me to actually do it two years ago in New Orleans. <laughs> you had two years to prep? <laughs> well, no, but like I, I actually, that's, that's like the LSAT. Well, no, no. <laughs> Well, but, but it was funny because I was like 30 or 40 pounds heavier two years ago. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I trust this. And then this time when he asked, I was like, hell yeah, let's go. You know, and yeah. so that was, it was cool. And I did the intro for him too, for the band and turned it up with like 1,200 people there. I sent TJ the video. Oh, there, fuck but, yeah. oh good. Yeah. And, and the, you stole a man's vape. Yeah. So that was, you fun. were clutching that thing like, well, oh. he was like, okay. So in the video, he was like, well, usually, because he usually, crowd surfs to the bar and takes Jameson shots and gets sent back to stage. But he's like, well, since Mincy doesn't drink anymore, let's just put this nicotine vape out here. Oh, that was a, that was a plant. So he was like, sit. Yeah. Oh, that was the bait. Yeah. That was the bait, but it was, it was Frasco's nicotine vape. It was, oh, okay. Okay. So after our little speech on the act last week, so you're back. Oh, you're back. We fell spiral. How'd it feel it. that hit was, while you were floating? While, it was, it was while great. hundreds of strangers were touching of your cock and bee. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was definitely a, uh, an experience. Oh, you, you're saying you uh, relapsed prior to that. Yeah, I relapsed. Uh, right. oh, wait. I relapsed Friday night at John Boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I, I, I threw it back down the chute this morning. First day. <laughs> <laughs> You There's gonna be a pile of vapes. In yeah, it's not good. We had a, we had a rough weekend on it, but you know, new day today. Uh, but no, it, that shoot, man. You falling down the laundry chute would be the funniest sounds ever. <laughs> I don't think I could fit down our garbage chute. You get, I mean, you yeah. getting stuck would be just as funny. <laughs> <laughs> you stuck midway. 
even <sighs> why don't belts work on you? I don't understand it either. I think <laughs> I mean I think this belt's like too big because I've had it a while. Maybe I don't know. In these pants, big, I, I just big. got these pants like a couple months ago. But man, I'm just leaning up. You know, I don't know. I'm trying to do well, better, but uh, it was I man, it was wild in there. I mean, he sold the metro out. Like, are those well, blue deltas? Yes. Do they make overalls? I think that might be your only choice. The suspenders. Oh, I need no, overalls. Yeah. I need some suspenders. Yeah. Suspenders, overalls. So I think you, you and overalls would be quite funny. That would be a hell of a look for you. It would. Overalls every day? You'd find a way for them to sag. They would just be falling off your shoulders. <laughs> 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 oh, but, yeah, no, it was awesome, though. What a, it was a huge rush and fun, fun, fun-ass weekend. Love in Chicago. Yeah. Great you place have, to live. Uh, you have any fear when you flipped over when they thought, did you think they were going to drop you? I kind of just was like, you let go and go with God, you know? I mean, it was just, it's like a release thing where I just was like, I trust, you know, you got to have the trust thing. And, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, like I said, it's really just the self-confidence stuff. Like, I really, that was the big theme of it in my head was I wasn't comfortable two years ago and I was now, which to me shows self-growth. So I thought that was positive. Oh, did you just congratulate yourself? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I was 40 pounds two years. Right on. Yeah. And you went with Dave? Yeah, Dave. It was just you and Dave? No, we had a big crew. Uh, we had... Uh, some old Miss people that were up in Chicago. We had Corey Rutledge and uh, his girl came. Uh, Corey actually said on Twitter it was the best uh, concert he's ever seen. It was Damn, like that much fun. Do we have the other video the men sent you, TJ? How are we doing tonight? <laughs> Five minutes. Wait, you said a five-minute video, Mincy? Yes. Yeah, well, I believe you're in it's the not right that place. That's for damn sure. It's like uh, a I don't know anybody that's a better entertainer or a better guy than Andy Frasco. Is that a hen house? Uh, what? So that's a organ. It's time oh. to live it up with Andy Frasco in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> that was really the intro. There it is. <laughs> that was it. Damn what? good. Big time. Great Saturday. Great Saturday. But then a great Friday, too, at John Boy. Yeah, well, it was a big weekend, man. I did the Blackhawks game Thursday night, too. Any, like, mincy heads out? Yeah, they had the, the John Boy loves. Dante always takes care of me. At, oh, uh, yeah. But the John Boy loves me. Was any night. not? Yeah. Was, and then I, had the, I brought the disco shirt back out for Friday. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was a really, you know, it was a really good weekend, man. Like I said, the Chicago thing. How many wears do you get to a wash of every of the disco shirt? So I try to wear the disco shirt three to four times a year. Yeah. Because I think anything more, it's like, you know, it loses the novelty. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, I, wa I wash it every time. Okay. Well, I had to wash it for the last time because when I wore it in here on New Year's, it smelled like hell from that panic show I went to the night right. before because I just wore it straight in here. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> you remember the odor? Like, no, no, I, I very much remember it. Uh, <laughs> That's a shirt that looks not like only it smells did you, good. Well, you, you wore it to a panic <laughs> show in Atlanta. Yeah. You then, that was one night. Yeah, I just wore it the next day. I flew out, yeah. You wore it. The, you, did you ever sleep? I slept, yeah. You did sleep. I did sleep. Did you I, sleep in it? I, I, no, I don't think so. I just think I would put it on and just was like, screw it. I'm wearing it in the office because it'll be funny. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I, th I thought you never went back to a hotel between. No, I slept. No, I don't do any of the late. Like, I'm like 1 or 2 a.m. is my cutoff. You get your sleep. Jeez. I get my sleep now. The old, old days, not as much. Did you now. get on a plane with that shirt? Yeah. It's I a just hell wore, of an airport fit. Yeah, I just, I was just like, I'm just wearing it. To the stream because I thought it'd be funny. Respect. I didn't think about how much it smelled though. Oh, it, it did. Oh, uh, Big Cat was sniffing it. We were complaining. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. A lot of group chats doing a lot of activity after that. At least you weren't trapped in a metal flying tube next to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, Mitz. Well, what else you got? You got anything coming down the pipe? Hey, second week in a row we got show. Wake up, Mitzi this week. We're doing a whole Holy two weeks, two weeks in a row. Yeah. Two right. whole wow, weeks so. in a row. You got Dante tomorrow. I think that'll be fun. Oh yeah. He, he's not afraid to let the fur fly. Uh, and then I've got – I'm going to – I'm actually I'm excited. I haven't played any live poker in a while. I'm going to play uh, the Moneymaker Tour, Chris Moneymaker event in West Palm Beach, Florida this weekend. So oh, hell yeah. A little beach in late February. It's poker. Well deserved. That'll be nice. Yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully I can do a little better in poker this year. Has everybody on this this panel uh, been on Wake Up Mincy? No. Uh, we need to get – no, we we're, we're going to rectify that immediately. I think we rectify. Open it, open it. If you're on the act, you have an open invite. Oh, uh, is this something that just occurred? Like, just occurred to you, maybe? No, I've or known you, it. No, you thinking about it. No, there's a thing where I've known. You were like, ah, uh, let's save him, or well, something the thing like is that? like he knows me because of like we did the rediscover in New Orleans together. 
and shit like that. It was like, a, let's put KB on ice. Let's wait. Let's wait. No, KB time. was coming out. Yeah, it, but it was on your mind, like the, the back of your mind or forefront, maybe even. Like you were like thinking like, yeah, let's let's get him on eventually, but let's wait for the wait for the right time or something like that. I don't. I think you're overanalyzing. <laughs> yeah. No, I was. You gonna yeah. come on this week? I was just on for the first time. For the third time. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come on this week? Yeah, I think we should wait for the right time. I think that could be, could be fireworks. Okay, well, come on. Yeah. Are you a Thursday? Can you come back and call me? Anybody? What y'all got? What? On do Thursday? <laughs> wake up, Mitzi? Yeah, yeah. I mean, l- let's just think about it a little bit. Let's plan ahead. And... We got to get into the week first and see what see how the week uh-huh. goes. I see how it is. You, yeah. called, oh, me out for not, you <laughs> called me out for saying I didn't invite you, and then I invite you, and you're like, oh, I'm good. I see. <laughs> I see how it, it is. It felt like a pity invite. We're like there's, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's some no, serious passive aggression. No, no, no. no, 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 no like we're button heads a little bit. I get it. Yeah. I mean, you clearly didn't want to invite him. I mean, that's not that big of a deal, but you did not want to invite him. I want to invite him. Yeah, that's completely wrong. KB, KB's a fringe guy in your orbit. KB's not a fringe guy in my orbit. I want to have any – it. I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way. That was not – Anybody on the act can be on – I didn't express any emotions, actually. I was just, like, wondering. Curious to get into your head, yeah. You did get in my head. Mm-hmm. Even Stephen Shea could be on Mike Up Mincy? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we got to get everybody on, you know? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's honestly, I appreciate it. I think it. we should wait. I actually feel weird. I'll be honest. Uh, it being at 8 a.m., I feel almost like I appreciate anybody that comes because it's early. I got to be honest. I feel like I feel like Nick's probably the best guest for that show. No, Nick's fire on that. Yeah, so I would I would probably – I think I'll do it this week. It. Yeah. Come on. All right. Let's do it. I, got, I, I think Dante ought to be fun tomorrow. Definitely. For sure, especially after he – he, he had some real have... critical words about my crowd surfing. Stuff. Oh yeah. Well, he went dick down. Yeah, that was, uh, it was a perv move. <laughs> you got fondled. You, you got did, willingly fondled. You did the anti grope. You, you said, groped them. Here's yeah, you groped them with your dick, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't exactly how I planned it. But I would have speed. I would have speed bagged that thing. <laughs> 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 Imagine the sound Mincy would make. <laughs> <laughs> We should do that on Wake Up Mincy. Get you on a massage table. I'll lay underneath. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see what, mil- you know what milking is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What we is should, it? We milk? should milk them. What's milking? It's where uh, you go face down in a massage chair with a hole just for your, your dick and balls, and then we just we just milk you. <laughs> this, yeah. this is taking a turn. Pretty simple. This is taking quite a turn. Yeah, just yeah. To, <laughs> uh, you know, we're, just, we're spitballing here. Maybe we do that on KB's episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We might need more production value for that, so it could be. What, oh. what, what's the other schedule? So you're you're doing it this week, and then what? Not next week, but the week after we're back. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. So I mean, Moody can be he can basically be here like two weeks of time, right now. Very nice. Yeah, and back. there's a lot. I can't fault anybody else for all the trouble I've caused. <laughs> you know, I, I can't really put anything on any other production wanting to stay away from it because I've certainly earned that. You know, so it's um. There's no. I have an observation. Go ahead. So it's been awful quiet this year on the hogs for the cause front. We're getting. Oh, April 5th and 6th. We're sixth, getting into, into season, it's right? More, oh, yeah. April it's more 5th than creeping up. Yeah. April yeah. 5th and 6th is coming. I mean, I, yeah, I'm going to do, you know, last few weeks fundraising like okay. I always do. All right. All right. You know, I think uh, I don't have to put. Anyway, I'm going to do it. Uh, yeah, we'll do it the last couple weeks. I just did Dave last year's mess with me on those work reports so much about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And luckily, well, you don't have to do that anymore. It, not when I'm in the office. No, you know, I think that's the point. As long as I'm around, that's part of being around the office day to day. Is uh, yeah, that uh, you don't have to do that like you did when you were, did it was rem- when I was remote. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everything's good, man. I appreciate y'all having me on, and uh, yeah. I can't wait Wake to get up to KB. Tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Damn right. Oh uh-huh. yeah. Thank what you. would you talk about with Kyle? Yeah, what are we like? What are I was gonna lay. I kind of like what to do, Nick. Uh, I do the same thing. I mean, y'all's improv is so good. I kind of just like let it fly. Yeah, yeah. wherever y'all want to take it, just roll with it. Mm-hmm, but kinda, we can also like write some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, hell yeah! I like all. I, yeah. Just, yeah. I need all the help yeah. I can get. Hell yeah! Awesome. So yeah, Thursday's gonna be a good one. Thursday. Mm-hmm. Thursday. Thursday. This Thursday? Yeah. Nah, nah. We gotta wait till the spring when it's a little bit nicer out. <laughs> It's gonna be fifty-five degrees Thursday. It's gonna be sixty Wednesday. I think we should do a. Maybe this is just me. I think we should do like a, a late April, early May episode. So you're already, already like starting they, to start in the tailgate a couple of months ahead. For yeah, the seems like right. that's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, so you want whatever you want, KB. Thank you. I'm just happy yeah. to have you. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it big. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm all about it. Yep. We'll do it. 
All right, man. Let me get Mook too. So Thank you. Yeah. All right, thank y'all. Well, uh, I'll try next time uh, I, I crowd surf. I, I, I won't go balls down. Ass first. <laughs> ass first it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, wear overalls next concert. Okay. You, it, <laughs> you should just wear them. Just go get some overalls. Yeah. There goes that ass. There's a belt on it, and it's still. It doesn't work. Oh, the belt doesn't work. It's plasma. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> like, I have no ass. No, no, no. Do you have ass cheeks, or do you just have a hole? I have them, but not. Like, I feel like I do a lot of squats, but there's just no. I don't know. It's just making the hole bigger. <laughs> 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 That's why girls are squatting so much. They just want a bigger, <laughs> ass a bigger asshole. <laughs> Look how big her asshole is. Oh, my God. Dude, you can fit like four in there. Holy <laughs> shit. Kyle, I can't help but notice the tension of you. And, and yeah, that, that got real, real I feel like I scared. maybe rightfully so. You and I are associated with one another a lot. Yeah, absolutely. We're often joined with an ampersand when they say one of our names. Uh-huh. And uh, zero invites for you, man. I know. And you've I, had to I see guess it, it was kind of like a... The culmination of like something boiling up over many many months. Something. Seeing you do three and like big Paramount episodes, inaugural even, and then, <laughs> yeah, I guess I kind of just lost control of my emotions. Yeah, um, I don't know what happened there. It's unbecoming of me. Mm -hmm. Well, there's an important distinction to be made. You've never been invited on the show either. I've been told. You've only been told to be there. True. So Demanded. You've never been asked to be on that show one time. Mm. You're I've right. been invited on. You have? What? Yeah. Weight loss episode or something? Yeah, but I just was like, eh. also, I have to do a show immediately after, so I couldn't do it. Yeah. You hit him with the, mm. yeah, I was like, eh. <laughs> Congra um, congrats, congrats, congrats on the, the one. Oh, under two is crazy. 199. Thanks, guys. And I was like, that's crazy going from a 300 to that, but then you posted the progress pick, and I was like, I don't even remember that. Dude. I don't I, remember that at all. I was, ever. A, I was a big fat fatty. I was a BFF. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, like, I don't that remember picture, that either. That I, was August 25th? Yeah. Right before, that was the last meal I had in New Jersey before I moved. What? Dude, I don't remember yeah. Yeah, I don't, like I, that Yeah, that's at crazy. All. I guess like we see you so often that it, it's, a, it's a slow burn. But I mean, TJ, you were a fat piece. Fat, fat, yeah. fat. Yeah. And that the best thing is like you're you're not just kind of fat now. You're not fat at no. all. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my BMI dropped out of like obese into just regular overweight, so... God damn. Yeah. Amazing. Do you have a goal weight or are you just going to keep going until you're nothing? Until he disappears. I think I'm going to gain it all, all back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's gonna Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Hell yeah man. He's going to do the six month yo yo right. where he goes yeah. down 100, up 100. Yeah, he flux fluctuates between 100 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Good for you, man. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That first picture is jarring. Cookie jarring. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't notice until like a week ago. The kid behind me, over my shoulder, went. I went to high school with him. Really? Yeah. Damn. So. Yeah, he's about to bully you. Yeah, he did bully me in high school. There a it is. Bit, yep. so. <laughs> oh, you could you could see him thinking, "Fat fuck." Right. Yeah. Big fat fat. <laughs> Fucking fat. <laughs> uh, what else we got, Brando? All right. How was everybody's weekend? Did you do anything? Nope. No. I went to the hockey game. I got fucking wasted with Mook. Did you? Yeah. 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 I got hammered. Friday or Saturday? Both. Both. Really? Went to Julio's show Friday. Yeah. Great show. Great show. His special will be coming out after party, afterwards. Feels so good to be invited to an after party. Coolest thing ever happened to me. You know, Julio's associated with Pete Davidson, right? They're pretty good friends. Didn't oh. know that, but mm -hmm. okay. A dude came up to me at the show, and he thought, some, like, then through the transitive property that I was associated with Pete Davidson. So this dude came up. He's like, yo, Nick, is Pete going to be here? And that was the coolest I've ever yeah. felt. That is Pete. Is Pete. Yeah. Didn't have to yeah. say. And then I was like, how can I be cool about this? And so I just looked at him and I was like, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but I didn't fucking know. And he wasn't. You sure he wasn't asking about all business? I sure hope. I, no. Oh, all don't do that. No. No, 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 no. Referring to him as Pete is like and a very... It like normalizes him, which is crazy. Yeah, is mm -hmm. Pete gonna be here? Pfft, so like I knew. I assume yeah. Julio was funny as fuck. Funny as funny as fuck. Crushed. Mm -hmm. Did Julio you go? Crushed. I went to the after party. <laughs> I had uh, people coming in town. Yeah, and you, you know. had to entertain them somehow, so you couldn't go to the comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a big, it's a big ask. <laughs> it is. Previous plans. 
It is. Yeah. But I went to his uh, after party and got free drinks. Uh, that, that was nice. <laughs> that was nice to show your support. <laughs> uh, and y'all yeah. did it again Saturday night? Yeah, man. I've been acting like I'm not 31. We've been drinking like idiots. Yeah. We, we have this uh, thing going called the Pickle Gang. Yeah. Pickle it's, Boys. We just do a bunch of pickleback shots. And, Best drink in the world. And we just, we're, we're doing like five to ten every time we're out. Yeah. And that just tanks your Y'all have a whole crew? Yeah, we have Pickle Boys. Yeah. Okay. Did your crew, you guys had competing crews last time we talked, right? Seth? Yeah. Happy it, birthday. Happy belated, now, Seth. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's now together? No. Mm -mm. No, Nikki went solo. Huh. Okay. All right. I'm keeping my crews separate. Kyle, you got a crew in Chicago yet? No. I don't. I've actually lost crews from other cities. Mm -hmm. I'm losing crews. I am pop. I guess crew dissing is still, still alive. Yeah. People say they do it all the time. Now let me let me square this away. A crew diss is is only a solo activity. Mm -hmm. You can't crew diss with a partner or a group of people. You have to be alone. Yeah. You have to be addressing a crew of four plus. Okay. And I will accept three, but that's not a you know a by the book crew diss. And all you have to do, there's only one way to crew this, is say that's a weak ass. You point, that's a weak ass crew. Nothing one, more, one nothing line, less. One line. That's a crew disc. People are trying to claim crew disses. That's a crew disc. Okay. Do you? Is there a point involved at all, or just like that's a weak ass crew? You address them. You got to make it known. They have to see that you're addressing them, and you just say that's a weak ass crew. And go by. Okay, and you can't do it if there's three of you can't do it together. It is an individual it's solo. Strictly a solo. Run. Let's say yeah. I'm with you guys, uh -huh. my crew. You can Brand. practice. You can do like an exhibition with a partner yeah. to get yourself ready. Can for I when step you're away if I see a crew coming? I'm like, hey, get behind me. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. Can I scurry off and crew this and come back? Yeah, you, could, you, could, you could scurry off. I see where the lines would get blurred. Sure. Then you're an individual, though. If you scurry off, you're individualized, right? Yeah, if you scurry off, yeah. So you're you're doing this like on an island. I'm not doing like this. It's a one v four. I just invented it. <laughs> People with more confidence and less cowardice are doing it. Got it. Yeah. It's you think it's getting done? Yeah. People are uh, keeping me updated. Yeah. If somebody I, dissed me and Seth and the other boys. It's on site. I swear to God. <laughs> I, don't, I actually don't know. <laughs> you going ten toes for Seth? Seth, oh, you don't want to fuck with Seth. <laughs> Mook, you were on one on a Friday. I you was were just glowing. I was hammered, and you took advantage of me. Yeah, I fed you three mental shots. Yes, you oh, did. What? Oh, yeah. Yes, you did. You got me cast up. And then you pulled me aside, asking if it was true, and I had to really yeah, destroy you. Really let you down. No, you no didn't. bedside manner from Nick. Yeah, you guys fucked me up good. That was me. You you've got me <laughs> I high got me through the night. Yeah. And then Nick was like, "Dude, you believe that?" And that one I that know. tore me down. Kyle, Mook was the top comment on Corinna Kampf's post. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Kyle was like, you know you have a shot. I didn't say that. All I said was, she probably knows who your name is. You're the top comment. I'm, she's probably the type to look through her comments. Yeah. And you said and she may have clicked on his profile. Yeah, she probably saw you were the top comment, clicked on your profile, and knows the name he, Mook. He, go, he goes, Connor Mook, Mook. Mook's in her head. Corinna, Corinna And you were like, yeah, you were like head. riding high. I was, like, you, I was like, oh, yeah, you're, you're right. Mm -hmm. And that was probably that was a bigger boost than any amount of alcohol. Oh yeah, or any. Yeah, but that fueled your incredible Friday night. Exactly. And then, but Nick quickly ruined the parade. Well, you got Well, Mook was like, "Dude, yeah, I'm in her head." And I said, "What the fuck are you talking?" <laughs> about? Yeah, I was lying. You probably Mook pulled me at aside all. and like it's like a one on one, man to man. He was like, "Yo, you know, like I'm in her head now." Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, <laughs> probably clicked on your. She might have clicked on your profile. No, don't do this but again. It immediately don't, don't disappeared. Do this. Like, she didn't, it down. It didn't stick in her. You got head, me yeah. so fired up, and then Nick right. just shot me in the back of the head. I was no, I was being nice. And guess what, Mook? This Friday night, he might do it the same guy. He probably he's probably done it to no, me before, was, and I've never. That realized. was a gift to you. <laughs> that was like when Kenny invited Stevie to Tampa. Yes, <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> that was a favor. Yeah, I don't know. For a second there, I was like, maybe, maybe she did, and then just immediately got brought back down to earth. Mm -hmm. But it was nice for five minutes. I'm saying for gonna, five I'm minutes, start I was like, doing Holy that shit. popularizing telling lies that boost your friends up. 
and they don't have to drink as much. They don't have to mooch off you as much. Yeah, you should just go out to the boys and lie to one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And go home happy. Instead of crew dissing, you can crew praise. Yeah. I don't want to praise a stranger. Actually, that would be funny. Yeah. Just going up to a guy being like, hey, you look fantastic tonight. Hey, handsome. In the most non-gay way possible. Yeah. Yeah. Is there an opposite of crew dissing that could be crew crew building, crew... That's not my territory. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're only Sorry the disser. That. I like solo dissing. So, like, I'm with a crew and one person walks by <laughs> and just call that person lonely. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, me and the boys... Well, my whole family we went to the Blackhawks game on. Um, the, uh, the other kids gotta gotta be getting jealous. No, they they mm. they, they kind of like their anonymity. Like walking through the United Center, like Tommy got called out multiple times, and we sat. It, we had six seats. My wife and my daughter sat behind us, and then me and the boys had four seats. And I sat. Me and Tommy sat on opposite sides of the four seats, and on the other end where Tommy was, was another grown man. And they just had a conversation. Eventually I looked down there and Tommy said something like, and, and that's why people don't really understand what YouTubers go through. And I'm thinking, <laughs> he's talking this guy's ear off. Can about you bring YouTubers. him in this week? I want him on anus. He almost came in today. Yeah. That, that guy right there is just part of, part of Tommy's crew. That's Tommy's buddy? That is Wait, Tommy's crew. Come to know that's Tommy good parenting. knew Tommy was going in? No, this is my son's adult friend. He came to know Tommy. He had no idea who we were before. Really? Started. They just started talking. And keep in mind, this picture is taken probably with 10 minutes to go in the pregame. Wow. There, there's the, This had just... Did they chat the entire game? They chatted the entire game, yeah. Yeah. So, and people, a lot of people don't know that I, I have two other boys that both have uh, red faces. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah. Two, they're very embarrassed <laughs> yeah. to be yours, <laughs> that, that you're their dad. Um, yeah. so, so How was the game? Tommy a hockey fan? Hey, yeah. So Do any of the kids want to play hockey? My kids didn't care about hockey, didn't really want to go, but they did want to get out and do something on Saturday. My my daughter, who I've taken previously, wanted to go and loves it. Uh, by the third period, they're just participating in chants. You know, Let's go, Hawks. They're yelling. The last goal happened with two minutes left. The Blackhawks won, and we just erupted. It's, it's such a fantastic family activity. It's great for us. We had a good time. And you're getting into it? I'm getting so into are it. You, you think you will like are on pace to – talk about talkie professional I, I don't know that i could ever do that because they're still like hearing your voice say like those russian names would make yeah. me sick i gotta talk to like the hockey guys they're still i watch the game and like i still don't know what a half wall is i don't know what certain things are like the there i don't know what certain phrases are so i can't really do that but i do think i'm a hockey fan you got to start picking up the uh chirps are you a blackhawks fan i think i'm a blackhawks fan yeah I think I am. I, it's just so – I've been to three arenas now. I went to two Rangers games in MSG, went to a Knights game in Vegas, and I've been to three Blackhawks games. And the Chicago arena, the atmosphere is second to none. It's perfect. I it's, think your best bet is to not immerse yourself in the culture or try to learn the stay culture. Stay on the surface. Be a casual it. fan, man. Treat yeah. it like any other like academic topic and yeah. just learn the, learn the players – learn the stats well it's also a perfect entry point because they just drafted bedard last year and yeah he's going to be so good he already is good and like my me and my kids can get on the entry they're they're as bad as they're ever going to be in our life right now they're going to get better and better and better so um, I, um i think you don't allow yourself to be a casual fan of anything i think being a casual fan's a luxury i'm not gonna no i don't have the casual fan gene i think it's the best type of fan i want to go to every game I want. I want to go to every single game. But like, then are you going to start buying memorabilia? You're going to be memorizing players from the '90s. Like, let yourself just relax and breathe. Well, I no, I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to full on be a fan of something. I want to. When I get home at night, I want to watch. I want to watch hockey. I when I got home the other day, I I bought NHL 24 and spent the next Jesus. 36 hours playing it. Really? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I've been playing NHL 24 on PS5. I'm terrible at it. I have to play on rookie mode. I don't know what I'm doing, but I I'm playing it. And I'm, so now you're learning. You make you're learning a character, or you just yeah. play games? I just like to play. To to learn it, I just play a bunch of offline games. I'll be a different team every time, and and then eventually I'll start a franchise. But we'll we'll have to get there. That one guy's doing nothing, man. That one guy's doing not a goddamn thing. Oh, yeah. That man that's very obviously incognito. Yeah. <laughs> he is not helping. That's a heavy couch. He ain't doing shit. Yeah. Look at him. 
just put the left hand, man. I'm that guy. You just oh, tap, tap the hand underneath <laughs> the couch. Yeah, it'd make it look like you're doing something. Yeah. But anyway, that was my weekend. We went to hockey, and uh, that was about it. I'm loving your uh, mantiquing. Oh, yeah. I enjoy it. You know what? I got Big T into it. Big T and me are going mantiquing next Saturday. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Well. So you got to find a new spot, though. Um, Maybe, but he's going to come to my spot. He's going to come to Volo, and we're going to go to the Volo Antique Mall. And I'm going to show him the good sports spots up there. And then we're going to branch out and go from there. I'm I'm excited. The longest I've been is Madison, which is an hour and a half from my house. And that was the best trip. I've, so I'm going to do that about once a month. I think there's a sports card show near you next weekend on Sunday. Really? Yeah. I'm trying to roll See, up. See, I don't, I don't like sports cards. I don't, I don't get into them. Um, but they're adjacent to what I do like. Yeah. So you kind of have to be in that realm and that. And that you can world. find other shit that you would like at that Correct. show. Yeah. But like, you do you like the novelty sports cards, like the jersey cards, piece of a bat? But uh, no, no, I don't. I just like old cheap stuff you can find. I put myself on a fifty dollar limit every weekend, and I just, I just go find it. Is your like basement starting to smell like mothballs? Not like it's not smelling like it, but my pool table's gone. I don't have a pool table anymore. It's, Why? Oh, it's a, it's it, a table. It's yeah. covered. Oh, it's okay. covered in stuff and. Um, I just, I, I want every square inch of my basement, which is a lot of square footage. Mm. I want every square inch to be covered in something. Do you believe in uh, spirits? That any of those items could bring in spirits into your home? You think I'm bringing in ghosts to my you house? You just don't buy. You don't buy used mirrors. Spirits can be trapped in glass. I don't think that's true. Everybody knows. Can they be trapped in a Ryan Sandberg poster? Potentially. Mm, no, no, it has to be glass. That's a por- the Mirrors are portals. I have bought multiple framed pictures already. I, I bought mirrors a- are portals. Just mirrors. Yeah. My aunt with six cats believes that she brings in spirits into her house after she uh, antique shops. So just that's to have because she's lonely. She probably just wants to. Yeah, she wants that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's best case scenario. Yeah, she's got like eight dudes in her house and six cats. I did buy my wife a mirror at an antique shop. So I possibly brought somebody into my house? Yeah, but then it can also take your wife's spirit and they can swap and they could use her body as a vessel. Yep. I'm down I'm down for that. That's fine. She has been cooking better. Yeah. That poppy seed chicken was delightful. She made poppy Sounds seed amazing. chicken. Yeah, she makes that every Thursday. Um people were t- trying to laud celery as Your wife loves my poppy seed. <laughs> God damn it. So she calls me. <laughs> Found a bracelet by the way. No, I didn't. <laughs> what did you say? I think people are trying to uh, distinguish celery as like a a good food. What? Yeah. Who's doing They're that? They're trying to say it's great. Like it's Celery's great. an edible utensil. Yeah. Yep. Barely. It is a superfood, though, isn't it? Doesn't it qualify? Isn't people one of those? are saying celery is good. It's a caloric negative to eat. It right? doesn't taste yeah. good. So no, we, and we are biologically. It tastes like wet opposed and ha- strings a wet spoon. It's it tastes stocky. like plant. it tastes like dirty rainwater mm. yeah and it's it has an off-putting stringy crunch to it mm. which i get why you'd like a crunch but not in this scenario. not that crunchy either it's a little bit bitter um, people were like oh i had to block someone who uh <laughs> tweeted like oh dude the um ants on a log Fuck ants on a log peanut butter ranch and then they said the possibilities are endless. <laughs> <laughs> the possibilities are as finite as a coin toss. <laughs> yes, you can dip it in ranch or put smother peanut butter on it, but that's you enjoying the taste of one of the most calorically dense substances, peanut butter and or ranch. Yep. That's not you enjoying celery. So let's not s- start saying celery is good or celery is even a great snack because celery isn't. Eat celery as it is, and how many calories are you are you I think taking? it's like negative two. And there is a correlation between calories and taste. Yes. So the humans are biologically opposed to ever even seeking out celery because you cannot survive on celery. Isn't there one of those plants that, that doesn't grow in the wild? Did you say broccoli was... Something like celery or broccoli, we we didn't make up, but we kind of made up. Celery seems like it does I think grow in the wild. Cauliflower, cauliflower, was cauliflower just is derived up. from broccoli. Okay, one of them is made based off the other. But one. at least cauliflower has other uses. Make pizza crust. Yeah, but celery. You're, you're what, really yeah. stretching to do that too. But like, what's celery doing? You can't do anything else to yeah, celery. Like cauliflower and broccoli can both like. You can chop celery up soak and use in. It. It's in uh, cold is, is it so good much. in soup or is it just there? It's just yeah, there. Yeah, it's just, just there. there. And if it's a caloric negative, you don't need it for to feel full. 
This no, is it doesn't French's satiate fault. at all. The French did it? The celery is one third of the French Holy Trinity of aromatics. Of Mir- what? Mirepoix. Uh, the Mirepoix, the, the Holy Trinity, yeah. the carrots, the onions, and the celery. celery. It's like yeah. the basis for every French dish. Yeah, every Cajun dish starts with that. Yeah, Mirepoix. You never seen that? No. It does smell well. But why celery? Because it has that smell that goes with the other two. Show me a good mirepoix. They, 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 when, they're, when they're cooking down, they do look and smell wonderful. I don't know if you'll be able to smell the TV. I wish you could. That should be an invention that's happened already. It seems like it should have happened already. This doesn't look good when they're just cut up like that. you got to cook it down. See you, Mook. That's good, kid. That doesn't look great. Yeah, smells good though. Do you like it in like chicken salad when it's all cut up? Kung Pao chicken has it right, and I think it's at least a nice crunch there. Don't you put it in tuna salad? Chicken Some? salad is it's in chicken salad. It's a nice crunch. It's That's when I don't like the crunch. Uh, it has to be very tiny. I don't like. When Give me. It, why, don't, why don't we try chips as a crunch? Oh, <laughs> potato uh, chips. You can't get chips wet. They get soggy. You can get Fritos wet, right? Oh, Fritos yeah, will hold right. it pretty good. No, 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 no. Hmm. You shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. This Saturday, we were sitting on um, section damn close. 122, row 11. And that sounds like it's – well, I don't know how that sounds. All I know is we could have spit on the players. We were that close. <laughs> That's how you gauge. That's how I gauge. Can I spit on you? Yeah. Uh, we were we were right there, right behind the uh, the benches. Everything was in front of us. Perfect. Seat. Any fights? Center ice. No fights. No fights. I didn't have to explain that to my kids, which I was looking forward to. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got last-minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals, easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. Game time is obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on tickets. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event, and even an hour after it starts, it's the, the place to find last-minute seats. Find exclusive flash deals and sponsor deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. With zone deals, you pick the section. Game time picks the seats for an average of 18% savings. The game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. So take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code YAK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account, redeem code YAK for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Hey, Moop. Hey. Welcome back. Had to piss. Yeah, it happens. Happens yes, all sir. the time. Our bladders, man. Our old ass bladders. You know what I'm saying? Um, my lips can't get unchapped. I'm getting fucking o- struggling. I'm getting older fast. What do you mean? Um, I have throughout my entire life, whether I fluctuated in weight or whether I had big ears or whether I had bad teeth, whatever, I always had <gasps> perfect vision. I could always see. Twenty twenty. No. And when we were in Vegas, I noticed I words were blurry, and uh, my Starting phone to get a headache. My phone was blurry and 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 everything, and I was like. I told my wife, I said, I just, something's not right. I, I'm, I'm too tired. She said, she takes out her reading glasses. She says, here, I put them on it and it's, it's perfect. Readers. Uh, You're going to be wearing readers? So now I got to do readers. I haven't been able, my memory's going. I haven't been able to remember like names of friends. It's it's just, I've got old in like two weeks. You'd look cute as hell in some readers. I got to get readers. Do you wear them at Hanging the end of your nose? nose? I got to buy yeah. readers. Uh, so I'm uh, soon, uh, to read these ads, I'm going to need readers. I just want to see you like. Peer out With of them? They're dripping, yeah. I'm going to try to get contacts. Whoa. Tommy's I'm, I'm changing contacts. my... Yeah? Yeah. I'm changing my look. Why? I think it's time. This is your look. I know, I'm changing. You so, should, yeah, try no hat. I'm tired of the doppelganger. No glasses. No facial hair. Can we just see no hat and no glasses real quick? Not re- no, I'm not ready. You're not ready? No. No beard. Like short shave hair. everything, buzz cut, yep. no hat, no glasses. Come yep. in, new person. It's, I want. I know. It'll be a thrill. I don't think we'd while. recognize. Yeah. No chance you would recognize me. I think if I did no glasses, you wouldn't recognize me. Uh, I think it would be a very. It would feel great for a while. I know. Be like moving to Vietnam. It would be a lot like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do you it. You think that would feel good at first? Moving to Vietnam. You know how like moving to like a new apartment feels great. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine Getting a new car as well. A new place. Yeah. If, if you're in a position where you would like a reset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the new apartment thing feels good, and then you realize you don't have natural sunlight, and it's killing you on the inside. But I get what you're saying, the excitement. You I broke have... the device that can open my windows. 
You have a device? It's like a shepherd's hook. And I have to like put it on the windows and crank it. I feel like you've oh, broken yeah. most things in your house already. Mm -hmm. oh. Didn't you uh, almost kill everybody with gas? Yep. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool. Uh, TJ. No, we're not doing it. No, we're not doing what? That ad. That's fine. Um, we're not? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. When did that happen? That moved. To th it's not today? Mm -mm. TJ, why don't we have a prep sheet? Um... Che texted me and Connor this morning and said that he he was always going to be traveling today, but he left his computer bag at where he's traveling from, mm. so he couldn't do a prep sheet. Che's the us. new excuse god. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. is an excuse god. He's missed god. nine bracket episodes <laughs> yeah. in a row. That's nine weeks. That's a grading period. He's also missed yeah. more than half the new show that he, he came up with. Oh, is the, are you doing oh, it today? Yeah. We're not doing it today. But I'm, I'm sorry what I said about it, by the way. I'm counting this as a... I, I thought it was funny. We're counting it as a miss because... If he were here, we would do the show. So we're not going to do it because he's not here. But um, he's three for six now, which is not great. I guess it's good if you're Tony Gwynn or if you're a baseball player. It's terrific, but not if you're a podcaster. And it's a 15-minute show. It's a 15-minute show. Yep. It's great if you're a 3-6 a mafia. <laughs> Get him off. Get him off the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brandon. Kick him off. Kick him off. I ain't going nowhere. One more. One more. Yeah, give him. All right. One, one more. more. He I deserves. He deserves. I had, I had to get that out. Okay. I had to. I know it was bad. Have y'all processed that, that uh, on Friday, Gia destroyed the gauntlet and Liam Blutman also destroyed the gauntlet in his own way? Yeah. So I, I was actually pretty upset. Yeah. You could tell I was like tr pretending hard to like s congratulate her. Yeah. I wasn't happy about that. I mean, she just. She smoked up. Like it wasn't anything to it. I feel okay. like she'd been training. You got knocked off the podium. Not really, because you didn't make a soccer. You didn't listen, make, man. You listen, you goal. flip flop on this. You didn't make a goal. You flip flop on, your on goal. this. I did. I don't. You didn't. I did. Malasek said I did. But no, Malasek is not really the arbiter here. Um, you are. I well, I had better view than Malasek. It was to Malasek. It was going towards Malasek. It, was, it went behind him though. Yeah, has, yes, it did. He had no idea. Yes, what, well, yeah, but behind him is a huge yeah. wall. <laughs> a huge wall. No, no, no. Uh, it's all right. What fun. We'll beat it. What sport has the least referee or umpire interference? Um, the least referee or umpire interference. Uh, golf? Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. count that? And maybe tennis now because tennis can make a call and immediately they have that yeah. that huge replay that goes straight to it. I, I came up with a thing the other day when I was watching the hockey. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm kind of watching hockey You're a hockey now. guy. So right before the hockey game starts and the teams are about to come out, the referees, the officials, hit the ice screaming. I mean, they're skating. They'll do figure eights. They just they, 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 they skate out there, and they skate around, and they really get going. I mean, they come out going fast, and they're the only officials in sports I know that do that. And I think, would it be funny to see umpires run the bases when they come out? Would Definitely. Be funny to see funny, uh, yeah. NFL yeah. officials run 40-yard dashes. But hockey guys, it, they, they, like, shoot out of the gate and and do all these crazy maneuvers are, is hockey re are hockey refs hate it amongst nhl fans i don't know but i think they're fucking fascinating to watch they fly out they, there. they like chirp back and forth with the players they chirp back and forth hockey they're, people oh. are a different breed i think it's the most passionate fan base uh, hockey to their sport they're uh hockey refs are elusive as fuck they're fast as fuck they're 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 fascinating to me just the way they do their job and stuff like that. Yeah, and hockey hockey people are their own. And not even NHL, like lower division, AHL, ECHL for us. Like it was those fans, those season ticket holders they are. Do. They go hard. Uh, but I think even like 10 or 12-year-old hockey players who really are into hockey and know that's what they're going to do and want to do, they act like NHL players. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? They, they have their own vernacular and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They speak a different language. They all get a Canadian accent. Uh, automatically. Yeah. Out, out the gate. Or they talk like Rudy and then everything in a question. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it always a bud? Something like that? Yeah. They're, yeah. Oh. Um, Rudy's got to come to my house and set up my, my Twitch. Make You've sure. been saying that. Yeah, I keep saying that. I went, I had, He made me go buy a new monitor. I have to have two monitors for my setup. So you I have to. Tommy on Twitch. You have yeah. to. Uh, What's Tommy going to be streaming? Uh, Tommy's probably going to be streaming this summer. 
uh, NCAA football game, and he's probably going to be streaming some old school Nintendo because at first time he's going to be me, and I'm going to be doing it first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I will eventually get the setup going and, and hand it to him. TJ, did you ever miss school oh. on a video game launch day? Um, Grand Theft Auto Five. Me yeah. and the fellas left at lunch. Ooh, voice crack. Went, left at lunch to go pick up the game and then went home and then I played it for 12 hours straight and beat it overnight. Um, I don't know if I missed a full day, though. I did midnight releases for a couple of CODs that were fun. I think I did yeah. Fable 3 till I puked. I did <laughs> MW2. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did MW3 and Black Ops 1 midnight release. I, I mean, I missed, I missed NCAA football releases which was in the summer, but I would always, uh, I'd be out in that parking lot from like 6 p.m. to midnight. That was fun. I, I was not even a huge, huge video game guy, but I would go with my buddies just to wait. Yeah. yeah. We would, uh, there was a movie theater across the street from the, the GameStop, and we would go, I went and saw War of the Worlds and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy on release night one. Ooh. Yeah. Two, and that might have been back-to-back years, and it might have been the same year. I can't remember. But I definitely saw those two movies on release night. Which did you like more? I didn't like either one of them. I thought the Tom Cruise War of the Worlds was terrible, and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy just made me wish I smoked marijuana. Okay. <laughs> and at the time, I didn't, or really any time I, I haven't. But uh, it made me think if I were high, and I don't really even know what high is to, to the point, but if I were high, I would enjoy this a lot more. I watched Arrival last night. How was that? Sick. Which one is that? Amy Adams. Oh, it's a great movie. Amy Adams is in all of them, though, right? Is she? Isn't she? I feel like she's in most movies. Ah, oh, man. All right. all right, let me think of a movie. Nightcrawler. She's, Fuck, yeah, yeah. shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. She's I watched uh, Woman in the Window on Netflix. Amy Adams? Psycho Thriller with yeah. Amy Adams. Yeah. Sucked. Oh. Terrible. Hated it. I thought New Top Gun sucked. Didn't see it. Mm. It was pretty to look at. I, I think li- it might. I think it might suck, but I think we were all mesmerized. It was cool to we look at. We all needed it at the time. Yeah. That movie could have been a gif. <laughs> 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 it's, the, it's the quick picks of movies. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't like that they couldn't call... They, you can't have an enemy anymore. You can't give it a country. It's God, just the enemy. God forbid. Yeah, the enemy. They did that the whole... And also, this enemy had... The land this enemy had. It was Canada. <laughs> this enemy had uh, beachfront. Mm-hmm. It was right off the, the Gulf, but it also had just the Alps. It had mountain ranges, and it had it, this enemy was So it was it posed spot. as a fictional country? Yeah, but they never tell us. They just keep, they call it the enemy. They never say. Uh, that, that, I would just hate that. for. for but they have more advanced following. tech than us. Yeah, they're better off than us. They, they got more money. Their, their planes are better than us. Their weapon systems are better than us, and we just rely on our good old fashioned guile and our pilots. Also, and, and that's I, a shitty plot. I'm able to throw away believability and all that, or whatever. It's a movie. The guy's plane blew up at Mach 10. Yeah. And then he just walked into a diner and got a glass of water. Yeah. Well, what's like? What's an underrated war film for you? Um. Hmm. This will probably be a tweet at 2:30 in the morning tonight. This will definitely not only that, but I'll I'll my top five most underrated war films will drop tonight. Um, <laughs> it's great. I don't know because all the ones I like are probably very highly rated. This like, is one Platoon I used to and Full like. Metal Jacket are all. Good. I don't know if it holds. Up. I I used to like Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson. Yeah, okay, that's that's. Does that hold that's up? Good. That's Pro- I, I don't know. I think it, it does. I think it, I thought it was cool. They were in Bosnia and like, yeah. there was mines and it looked. There's that one guy that steps on the mine. Yeah, I love that scene. Yeah, and and he just can't move, and the guy just lets him die. That's uh, Saving Private Ryan's probably the best, just because that D-Day scene. Yeah, that's just the, the rom best. the romantic movie Pearl Harbor would have been sick without the romance. So sick. Yeah, huh? It would have been awesome. Cuba they, Gooding at the fucking gun. Yeah, if they just focused yeah. on that. They made Pearl Harbor a, a rom? They made it, so it was post-Titanic yeah. when they made the boat sinking in a romantic, and it won every fucking best picture and everything. Everyone was trying to And now find. everything. Tragedy with boats. Tragedy yeah. with boats <laughs> plus romance. But this one was weird because this was a love triangle. Like she wanted to fuck both of them. Yeah. She did fuck both of them. She did. Yeah. Kate Beckinsale, right? I love, yeah. Ooh. Or was it, uh, it might have been Amy Adams. I think it was Kate Beckinsale. I loved her in The Warrior's Way. I think a movie only is there a movie out there that you're like I'm the only person that's seen this uh, senior skip day the um 
Pistol, oh, Birth of a Legend. Ru Rudy was talking about this movie called Swim Fan, like it was a common vernacular. No, 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 that's, uh, that's, um, mm, it's a stalker movie. Rudy loves the movie Swim Fan. He's like, yeah, everybody. Julia, Julia, Julia Stiles. Julia Stiles. I don't fucking know. Oh, Nobody's you know seen it? Swim Fan. Have you seen it? I've heard of Swim Fan. I you think it's Julia it. Stiles. I haven't seen it. Mine's The Warrior's Way. But I don't really watch many. What's movies. The Warrior's Way? This uh, swordsman in Japan is trying to. He takes this oh, baby to the Wild West, Japan. and now he's a samurai living in the Wild West with Kate Beckinsale. Oh, I've seen that. No, we started it together because I was trying oh. to show you. Yeah. My my uh, I think I'm the only one that's seen it is uh, Kid Cannabis. No idea what that is. <laughs> kid Cannabis. I can put a, together what it is. Yeah, it's a fat kid that becomes a drug kingpin. Brandon, that's, maybe tweet out ten movies oh, you think cool. only yeah. you've seen. All right. I got nothing right now. I have to think. I, that, I, I loved the movie The Core. I saw it in the theaters twice. I got a big group of movies that everybody's seen. I've never seen. So I, I'm more. That's way that. less fun. It is. Mm. But are you gonna see Madam Web? Probably not. I've heard it. Je I, I saw I, Jeff's reaction. I'll just ask a question. Some, I've seen some reactions. Does she get topless? No. Then no. It's got to be one of the most dog shit movies ever, right? That's what they're saying. Is it a Spider-Man movie? What? Who's Madam Web? Because there's like four people. Are there four Madam Webs? It's, it's in the universe, yeah. All right. I think my movie is, I've, I'm the only one that's seen Battle Royale. Nick might have seen this, though. I don't know what Battle Royale is. is it's it the a, movie that Asian? inspired the writing of Hunger Games. Oh, cool. It's about a Japanese high school that they get picked for population control, and they basically they go play, like, Hunger Games. I'm watching it tonight. Oh, that yeah. sounds awesome. Yeah, they have, like, explosive necklaces on if they try and leave their heads exploded. I'm watching it. It's like very violent. OG Squid Games type thing? No, it's like, imagine if Hunger Games was made in Japan. Yeah. Okay. It's great. It's in Japanese, though. I got handed a paper. You know what that means, boys. High Noon. The High Noon El Prez pack is here, featuring the top four High Noon vodka seltzer flavors as ranked by El Prez himself. These flavors include passion fruit, pineapple, pear, and the all-new flavor, tangerine, all made with real vodka and real juice. This 12-pack is only here for a limited time, so get it while you can. Just look for the pack with Dave's face on it. You can even scan the QR code on the pack and have El Prez virtually join your party. It's so sick. Visit HighNoonSpirits.com to find the El Prez pack nearest you. Love it. Love it. Yep. Good stuff. Uh, where to next, boys? What do you mean? Like conversationally? Yeah, conversationally. Ooh. Where, where, what have we un, what have we not covered yet? I found a new uh, satisfaction account that you guys may or may not have seen. Okay. You ever see a uh, worm lapse? No. Worm lap? You tried to mention this the other day, and we could, something cut you off. What yeah. is it? So what is it? Uh, TJ, if you could pull up worm laps on either Instagram or TikTok. It's just an I account. I did it from age two to three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Worm laps? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'd, they'd race them. Oh. <laughs> mm, we'd just go around the barn. That's good stuff right there. Thanks. Um, it's just an account where mealworms eat something. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Over They're making them do the hot chip chat? Yeah, it's so fucked up, dude. <laughs> Oh fuck! Why is it every comment is, song? every comment is like give them fentanyl? <laughs> Are they gonna? Yeah, what do they do with fentanyl? I don't know. Wait, did some of them die? No clue. Uh, I, I but I, I, I've seen videos like this where it's like they put like a big piece of steak out and they just wait for like bugs to show up. I don't know why, but I do get why people like this. Oh, so that's the. F so I don't know if I. No, like I don't get. They why can't. They, like they can't it. taste the heat, right? I oh. Hope. You're gonna do a whole melon? Oh yeah, they they get after it. Oh, I don't think I like this. I've also seen videos where people will be like uh, giving ants a, like a zin until they develop nicotine addiction <laughs> I, and <laughs> see me as their god. I hate this. I hate it. Get it off the screen. Get off the screen. Oh, get off the screen. Make me real sick. Satisfying isn't the Sat word. Fuck this. It's cu uh, it's curious. Yeah, I, I don't it's like. Interesting. I don't watch it and I'm like, I love this. I watch it and I'm like, what's how fast are they going to get through? I don't mind animals doing things. I, I don't want to see mealworms do things. That's fair. Bachelor tonight. Yeah. Let's wrap this shit up. Where are we at? I think you'll make it home in time. <sighs> you never know. I think you'll, I think you'll get it. Um, what was I about to say? I was about to bring something up, too. Then you brought up the worm thing. NBA All-Star Weekend, and it sucked? No, it did suck, but that wasn't it. Hmm. Oh, did y'all see our list of uh, on mostly sports? Our t we tiered the presidents by fuckability. Oh yeah. Did I was wondering if you had any 
Any thoughts about yeah, it? Yeah, pull any, that up. Any, any beef with it? Because we did struggle a little bit. Um, there's our president's by fuckability. Now, I did... Is that Franklin Pierce at the top? I, I, I tried to put Roosevelt in the F tier because, you know, you don't want to fuck a man in a wheelchair. But I accidentally put Truman there, I think, because Roosevelt's up there. On the, who's that? That's um, Obama, Reagan, Kennedy, and Franklin Pierce. Okay. Bush. Abraham Lincoln's too high. Ugly as fuck. Way too high. Yeah, Ugly we, as fuck. Who made that call? I, you know what? We just we just. Went. Bill Clinton should be S. Yep. Would you fuck him though? I mean, he probably has a disease. I mean, you'd lay it down. George Washington is Where's called, H-W? literally called the father of our country. Oh, he's in the D tier. Okay. Yeah. Um, Lyndon B. Johnson had a huge dick. Where's Biden at? Uh, oh yeah. We, we only count a legitimate presidents. <laughs> only counted the actually elected presidents. So, sorry. <laughs> Biden can't find his way off the stage. You think you find the G spot? <laughs> Zah? <laughs> Zah, you like that one? I'm sick this one out. Okay. All right. oh, that's weird you're sitting it out. When I looked over there, you were doing you were doing this I shit right here. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Brad. There's, Can we run the tape back of Zah just doing this no shit? Tapes. I think Joe Biden has fucked under one time in the White House. So, 0.5, you're going under. There was an attempt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think... Do you think we're going on probably eight years of no fucking in the White House? Because I don't think Trump fucked in the White House. I, I think Trump nor Biden have fucked in the White House. Trump fucked in the White House. I think Trump has gotten dome in the White House and probably gotten fucked. I think Trump fucked in the That's White House. That's a horny fucker. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Over under one times Biden has fucked in the White House. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going under. Yeah, I think you're under. I think we're naive. I think he probably fucks. No, dude. You think Biden fucks? If not for pleasure, for some sense of power to get from it. What percentage of presidents have fucked in the White House? Because I don't think it's 100. It's not 100. No, I, uh, do no. You, do you think it's... Cause a lot of these we had guys a gay, are, who was the gay president? A lot of these guys were there. old as fuck. So I guess I'm not counting gay sex. It might actually. be like 75%. Because a lot of these guys were just old as shit. And I don't think pussy existed until like 1950. Well, no. You have to, when did Viagra <laughs> become a thing? Early 90s. Yeah. So How old were they, though? Like, was anyone as old as Biden and Trump? No. No, but, 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 but 45 in 1812 was, was 75, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't either. I, I think it was just a lot easier to die young, but people still lived long. JFK was fucking nonstop in the White House. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. JFK, Bill. Clinton was getting his. Clinton was. Yes. Clinton was every day. Bush. I'd say HW too. I think Obama was getting fucked. <laughs> yeah. He was getting fucking destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. By Michael. Yeah, I bet, I bet uh, the second Bush was getting it in. What are the stats on, were people more sexually active in like the 1800s or less? I Probably the same. I don't know. I think every TikTok I see now is like Gen Z isn't fucking. Right. This yeah. is the first generation that just actively doesn't sex. Yeah, I mean, with, without smartphones, like, I could see people fucking a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Also, antidepressants. Yeah. Destroys the dick. Really did. Yeah. I, that was a, there was a one, uh, there was a two week stretch where I, I thought, hey, I'm going to make my mind better and I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of my stress. And my dick just left. My, I think all antidepressants suitcase and just, just I think it made you angrier. <laughs> I think all antidepressants do is make your dick not work and I think you're happier without sex. That's I I missed my dick. I had to call my dick back. My dick is back. Oh, my dick is so <laughs> you bad. You chose dick over happiness. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> I, I I yeah, I know. Dick is happiness, buddy. It's amazing how it just didn't work. I I'm talking about my own. I'm not talking about yours. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, my dick stopped working. Yeah. Just did not want to did didn't It was a fun. vessel for piss. And even then, it would, it would complain. Uh huh. But not like, do but I not have to? to. <laughs> 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 my dick yawned in my face. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's uh, uh, uh. Abraham Lincoln, great president, probably number one. Ugly as fuck. Yeah, but you could be ugly and get pussy in eighteen. He was tall. Yeah. Yeah, he was powerful. Right. He was. He's tall and had strong features. I think that's less ugly to women than just a, a pud. He was also a wrestler, right? <laughs> that, is that, he is wrestled, that true? Yeah. Yeah, a big time wrestler. I don't know. That was our president's rank due to fuckability. 
I think you should have to wrestle if you're president. Who was the gay one? Henry Harrison? You? Or was it Franklin Pierce? Did you put a gay guy in the S tier? Maybe. I don't know. What the, I don't know. I just thought he was a good looking guy. I thought, I thought you know what? Presidential? Regal? Where'd you put uh, George fuck Washington? Oh, he was in the uh, A tier. He's of disgusting. Our country. Yeah, He's apparently he was like a mutant. And didn't he Who? look like you exactly? Yeah, he, I was yeah. going to say, he looks <laughs> like you. Yeah. yeah. You look just like George Washington. Yeah. That's your celeb look alike, dude. I'll take it. He was a president. Where is, is that? Is it the standard picture of him that you look just like or is it it's modern the, day george washington modern day but even yeah, look at yeah. the Find standard picture modern day george washington uh or george washington what he would look like if he were today because it is 100 percent mook yeah right there. <laughs> <There I am. laughs> that is how you're going to age and george washington was a redhead was he yeah i believe so apparently he was a redhead <laughs> he he had like native american teeth yeah like he would like insert he had slave teeth, teeth. to his mouth and oh, what yeah. if fake what? teeth his dentures were of that of other people that he what if which we is had never crazy. Uh, what if we had never evolved past the powdered wigs what if we were just sitting here all in powdered wigs? i would love that yeah no one would know what era of fashion did you like the best that you looked the best in hmm. oh man good question i don't know i don't think we've gotten to that era yet okay i think I think I'd look good in like twenties, cane, three piece suit. I might do okay in the old west, I think. Oh no, I yeah. can't wear hats though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could yeah. Couldn't wear a hat, so that that's a problem. I think the powder wig probably would have helped. You I think you would look good in that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like the long one. Yeah. Huh. I think the twenties or the thirties and forties where everybody wore suits. Okay. And everybody did it. I think that's probably our best fashion time. What about like 50s when it was just like dark blue jeans, rolled white t-shirt? No, because I wouldn't have looked Cigarette good. Cigarette behind rolled, your ear? I wouldn't have looked good in a rolled white t-shirt. Yeah, neither would I. Would have looked lumpy. Lumpy as fuck. Can't wear white. Even back then. even People weren't lumpy back then, but I would have been. Yeah, I'm thinking like caveman just draped in like fur. <laughs> yeah, you look covered good. up. You look good in saber tooth tiger pelt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just as much of it on as possible. What did they wear in, in Jesus' time? They just wore, like, robes, cloths and blankets? I think they wore cloths. Yeah, that would suck. You know how bad it would suck to have bad vision back then? Probably the same. I think about that sucks. often. No, because I can... When did, they, uh, when did they fix vision? Like, the 1800s? Don't ask me. You're real smart, but you can't get gauges of time. <laughs> no. When did you say the car was invented? I don't... Well, I know that's, like, the late 1800s. Um, it's also twenty four, and he refuses to fix. I always get, the, I always get fix Jello something. fucked up. The Jello, Jello, Jello mold dinners. I don't know if it's the sixteen hundreds or the nineteen fifties. You, you sound very sick. Yeah, man, you sound bad. Yeah, progressively worse by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I, I mean, it's going around. Titus, I think Titus has the exact same thing, and you say you're getting it. I think I'm getting over it, but I drank it out of my system. That's the best. That way. works. Best way to. Keep I don't sickness. think that works. Yes, it, it works. Yep. do it today we've got something truly special for all the renters and landlords out there paying rent is something we all have to do and let's be honest it can sometimes be a bit of a hassle but what if there were a way to make it all easier more straightforward and even beneficial for your financial future introducing rent app the ultimate tool for renters everywhere rent app takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account no more trips to the atm no more mailing checks and no more managing balances in multiple apps just simple, direct transactions that make life easier for both you and your landlord. There are no fees and no weekly limits. That's right, RentApp is completely free for you to use. No need for your landlord to create an account. It's completely free for them too. RentApp is about helping you build a brighter financial future. By optionally reporting your own time rent payments to the three major credit bureaus, RentApp brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit score. So why wait? Head to the App Store and download RentApp today and follow RentApp at RentApp on Instagram and Twitter. And for our listeners, we've got an exclusive deal. Go to rent.app slash barstool, get $50 cash back on your first rent payment. And if you're a landlord, go to rent.app slash landlord to get paid on time and without hassle. Um, boys, I, listen, I don't want to, I'm knock on wood, but. I'm getting the itch for springtime. Like it's starting to sixty degrees Wednesday. It's getting sunnier yeah. more. The, the, you see the yeah. sun more. It's the it's getting light earlier in the day. It's getting dark later in the day. I'm I'm starting to yeah starting to get the itch. Kind of need it. Need it bad. Yeah. And so far we've gotten through winter okay. 
I'm sure we're going to have one or two more bad stretches, but uh, I can I can see the end. I think we're going to have three to four more bad stretches. Think? Yeah. Yeah, but I think once we uh, once March Madness starts up, like that almost covers the bases. It's this you sports don't... doldrum that we're in. That yeah, that's almost worse than the actual weather thing. Yeah, what'd you guys do yesterday? I felt like kind of naked. I went at Manteking. But you would do that any other Sunday. Yeah, but it did feel it. It that is a bad feeling. That yeah. first oh shit, the Saturday and Sunday actually where you just have no direction. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I guess this is the day you do stuff. I have like free time. How do yeah. I spend it now? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I walked outside. It was like it was pretty warm, but yeah. when it blows, when the wind blows, it sucks. I yeah. went and made custom chapstick at the Lip Lab. When it took a nap. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you went to the Lip Lab. Made custom chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> Did you buy any, like, subscriptions or premium boxes? <laughs> <laughs> you sound terrible. The Lip Lab, is that a, a franchise or is that Chicago-specific? Don't know, but I was the only guy. So, fellas. You getting them plumped up? No, I didn't do plumper. I just wanted uh, I want the I want the puppies to be frictionless, baby. That's a trend. Uh, it, uh, uh, yeah, ASAP Rocky just came out with, like, designer men's lip balm. It's eighteen dollars. It's me and Rocky. You are. Right? Ah, that's a bit much. Yeah, it's eighteen dollars a stick. Mm. I'm gonna have guys to are what, looks maxing now. Yeah, mewing think, uh, looks maxing. It's too late for us. Yeah, I've just accepted I'm gonna look like shit. No, I think you should save tactics like that for when you're actually visibly aging, like getting older. Yeah. Like Brandon, like you start a looks maxing, that could mm-hmm. be crazy. No, Brandon has negative carthal tilt. He has to rope max. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I probably do. What is that? It's suicide. Okay. <laughs> Ropes max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I I'm lost on what you're talking about at all. Smaxing? Maxing? If Looks you put maxing. maxing behind any anything, like you like you chicken sandwich max because you eat so many chicken sandwiches. Yeah, he does chicken sandwich max. Yeah. But Oh maxing, looks maxing is just taking care of your looks. No, it's like there's like a trend of like doing like facial exercises. Mewing, to, bone mewing, smashing, yeah, trying ice to make rolling. your face your facial features more aesthetically pleasing. In my yeah, in my head it's like when you Get the eyebrows taken care of, mm. the teeth perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, f- you fix the nose. You get like a jaw oh, exercise. Get right. the facial hair yeah, perfectly yeah, groomed. I think it's kind of like it's too late. counter intuitive. It's like you're trying to be a Snapchat. No, they would say it's over and you have to hard reset. It's too late. No. Bank on reincarnation. <laughs> <laughs> you're still rolling the dice. You're rolling the dice there, big time. Yeah, you could come back way worse. Mm-hmm. What do you think you'll come back as? <sighs> Present day. I don't know, like a... There's there's a belief that you ascend uh, by beings uh, every time. If you live a good life, you go up. If you live a bad life, you go down. So what would you come back as? So I'll probably go... I'll probably go up. Yeah. You're a good guy. You want to be reincarnated as Big Cat. <laughs> I'd be like a, a <laughs> Swedish goalie. Yeah. Of what sport? Swedish goalie of s- foot soccer. Okay. Like not the h- highest professional league, but mm-hmm. a decent. A comfortable league. living. Mm-hmm. Why Swedish? I think that would be an ascension from American. Yeah. That part of or the, maybe not. that part of the world, they're the happiest. Yeah. Or they're the they they've they found it the they best. They figured it out. Yeah. Norway, Sweden. Finland, not as much. Scandinavia. I don't know if they get caught up in that. Okay, but it, Sweden for sure. Denmark, and Sweden, and the Netherlands. But I think they're also just like the wealthiest, right? Which yeah. could also play a. Fact. And they're all stunningly beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. that probably helps. They also don't let people in. No, when like, I, you're not fucking up our our thing we have going on here. When I was a kid, Swedish yeah. was the ideal of woman of womanness. Yeah, like the, 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 they would say. The, was a Swedish something team, the Swedish swimsuit team, or something like that, was the ideal of women. I don't not even the swimming team, the swimsuit. Uh, team. But you talk about the swimsuit cover. I don't team? know what, but I remember just Swedish being the ideal. Like if you, if, if, if a beautiful woman, she looks almost Swedish. 
I yeah. haven't heard Swedish like that in a while. Nineties was slender, blonde, heroin yeah. chic. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. I don't I'm gonna know. be reincarnated as a Japanese salary man. I'm gonna die at my desk. You wanna be Asian so goddamn bad. Uh yeah. yeah. A Japanese salary man? That's what they call them. They just go to work and then they go to like the internet cafe and then fucking die at their desk. And they go back to their like <laughs> yeah. sleeping they'll, pods. They'll, you can see like they'll just sleep in the bushes out in front of <laughs> either the internet cafe or the their <laughs> business. The internet cafe. Swedish bikini team, yes. Old Milwaukee beer. There you go. Yeah, several months in 91. Uh, TJ, quick breasts. <laughs> Let's read the okay. Wikipedia page for uh, breasts. Okay. I might have edited it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might be in the, the sources. <laughs> I can't show it. No. Big picture of breasts. Edit uh, all of us to be under our new tab, Notable Breast Lovers. <laughs> Zah tweeted out today, shout out to Sydney Sweeney for having nice boobs. Oh, uh, that's a good tweet. Yeah, I don't know what was going on <laughs> yesterday, yeah. but this morning I opened my Twitter and I saw that picture of her in a red dress like yep. 50 billion times this morning. You complaining? Or do I have to pause you? <laughs> my brother. Zah, it's been a while since you've been a while since you Parcel deleted a drunk <laughs> tweet. I haven't been drinking. I haven't been drinking that much oh. lately. Bro. I miss drunk, drunk, yeah, drunk me tweet. too. Ah. No, I haven't been. I haven't been drinking. I've been, uh, been, a, been a good boy lately. Just wake up at nine a.m. Zaz going on about these punk ass white people <laughs> at Barstool. <laughs> nah, I've, I've slowed it down a little bit. I, I will. Can we see Zaz tweet one more time? Just, just because I, I need to know. I mean, it is a beautiful dress. Yeah. Oh, big cat light. Oh, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's the mezcal. Is he gonna come back like tan as fuck? I think so. Yeah. Probably. All right. Uh, TJ, you want to spin the wheel? I like uh, yucking it up with you boys today. Yeah, yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun. I think we're all beat up. Yeah, everybody's sick. I need a couple of days. I'm gonna have to get a break at some point. I don't know why. Do when I is it the time? time? When is it the times? Uh. <laughs> Horny hours. What time was that tweeted? Like horny 11 hours. this morning. <laughs> uh, horny hours. Oh, so you just meant like, give me an hour or two? Uh, nah, seven. 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 Come on, okay. Brandon. Are you going to tweet about it at seven? Because I'm looking forward I, I, to it. I mean, after seeing her ten times in a row, I just could not help myself. That was the plan, but it's, it's, god damn them titties. It's a, it's a breath <laughs> I want to do a new segment on the Yak where the viewers can't see it, but we all show you a woman. And we get your reaction. We have a Zav cam. <laughs> Are you yeah. trying to get me canceled? Hey, no, not canceled. No, no. no. I like this, yeah. Zav, I've been sending my titties my... to the boys. Do you want the titties every day? Uh, but Brandon, oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I haven't been sending you the titties. I haven't got one. Oh, no, there is a photo today. We do have a fresh. Oh, God. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Um, what, what... Give Zav a picture of a decently famous woman. Za, grab Sydney Sweeney's titties three times. You have a coupon to grab them three times, or Arsenal Champions League win. Sydney Sweeney's titties three times, coupon. or Arsenal's Champions League win. Yeah. Oh my yeah. days! Arsenal's Champions League win all day. Every yeah. Day. yeah oh yeah. Big. My man. Okay. That's a real one. Now, if we're talking uh, Nia Long, or <laughs> all right, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> or uh, I mean, every man has a price, right? Everybody, every man has a, a titty exactly. price. Exactly. Nia Long still considered like that? Yeah. She's been professionally hot for 30 years? She gets hotter. She gets hotter by the day. I haven't seen Nia Long in a while. We're talking Fresh Prince Lisa, right? Uh, yeah. Damn. Good for her. Good. When's the last time we had a Yak um, text? Uh, Very, very recently. I must have skipped right. Oh, today. Yeah, okay. So I got to go find Za because he's not entering my phone. Okay. You're just sending him in the yak? No, I'm just going to find his number. Okay. Can't wait. I'm excited. Hmm. Well, Zah, I don't know which one yours is, so I'm going to have to guess. The the 813. Uh, I think it's the 813 right there. All right. There you go. All right. There you go, Zah. Did you just say, oh, God, under your breath, Zah? I can't Zah? wait. I can't <laughs> wait. It's good. I mean, I just don't know what's coming in. I told you what's coming in. Let me see that. Yeah, but who, though? Bonus card. Not, not anybody right. famous. Here we go. Not anybody famous, just. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. All righty. Uh, Damn. Well, let's get the day started, boys. Yeah. Woo. Woo. All right. 
All right. <laughs> spin the, do we spin the wheel already? Yeah, spin it. Might get out of here just a hair earlier today, but it's a holiday, right? Brandon, are you going to go listen to that new Vampire Weekend? No, I wasn't going yeah. to. Two new songs. Just two new songs? Yeah. They they release them like that? Uh, that's how it kind of just goes nowadays. Mm. Let's see what Ezra, see if he's in his bag. What is Vampire Weekend? Uh, is it the Scream music you like? Or? No, no, no. This is like uh, kind of music made for iPod commercials. Okay. Yeah. Like alt pop, indie pop? Indie pop. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's, <sighs> wow. He didn't ask for it, so that's that's on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think Big Cat's back tomorrow. We don't know. I know Kate's back tomorrow. Very I hope, exciting. I hope Titus is back tomorrow. Milk, you back tomorrow? Yes, sir. Kyle? Yep. And Kyle's not. Kyle's out tomorrow. We'll yeah, see. he's going to be too sick. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, otherwise, that's the act. Have a good Monday, everybody. Let's have a week, huh? Thanks for all the love and whatnot in the chat on Twitter. Love you guys. Bye.